Star Wars Evolution, another one box break for our friend Curtis, who's been chipping away at this case for a little while. We're going to go with the Imperial Star Destroyer box. That's exactly what it is. Don't, don't make fun of it. It's exactly what it is. It's 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 an impeccable drawing for it. I should be doing, uh, I should be doing uh, artwork for, for that. I should be doing artwork for Star Wars. You know the pre-production artwork that they do. All right. Good luck, Curtis. So Curtis, I know I know people are like, you guys are doing personal. We don't really do personal boxes. We don't actually, but this the, Curtis was grandfathered in from an old rule. Uh, we let it slip that Star Wars Evolution, and we had a case of that just laying around that we didn't know what to do with, and we weren't really able to 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 send it back or return it or whatever. And then Curtis pipes up and says, "Hey, you know what? I'm legit building like sets from this. Like he's doing a big set build." From uh, Star Wars Evolution, I was like, "From Evolution? Are you kidding me?" He's like, "No, I'm serious about it. I'll buy, I'll buy him." And we're like, "Really?" It's like if I if I open up this sealed case, I better not see you stop after doing a few boxes. And he's like, "No, no, no, I'll do it. It might take a while, but I'll do it." And well, true to his word, folks, he has. I know it's been a little while since we've done one of these, but he did one yesterday. Now we done one, did one today. Now that I believe there's only four boxes left. I think the BB-8 box is still there, Curtis. And my uh, my expert drawing of the Millennium Falcon box is there. I forget which one, what, what other ones there were. All right, so Curtis, what he needs here, he needs just the uh, purple foil, short print, and then all the uh, all the other hits. Last Jedi coming out this winter. I'm excited about that. I've been listening to the uh, the Rogue One novelization, the audiobook, which is pretty good. I think it's the same guy who did the voice work is the same person who did, uh, or even the author, I think, is the same person who did, I think, the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie or something like that, or the book, that is, and his Tatooine ears between episode three and four. I must admit, I've not gotten, I've not gone, I've not gotten full nerd and gone into actually reading those books. At some point, I might. I feel like, I feel like I don't know where to start. That's the thing. Like, like I don't want to like buy like a a crappy book. You know what I mean? Or end up getting a book I don't like. I don't know. All the all the different authors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, anyway, starting with the audio books first. But I heard the Revenge of the Sith book is a. Uh, is legit great though that makes the movie so much better okay here we go curtis good luck hopefully we can pull you something extra special as well so he already he already has the blues so we're gonna be skipping those he needs the purples you have this one curtis chewbacca purple i just need to get like the bird flu or something like that so i can just sit and catch up on tv shows i need to watch the sopranos and i need to read more books so I need like the bird flu for a few weeks. Read the Tarkin book? I really have no interest in, in him though. <laughs> I, I guess Aftermath I hear was good, right? There's two different books. There's the Aftermath book and then there's a Tarkin book. Did I pass by? No, that was blue. Yeah, do I do I really have any interest in this guy? Not really. The Bubba Fett movie, I'm sort of curious about. There's your auto. Hassani Shapi as Eth Koth. I don't remember where Eth Koth comes from. Comes from. Count Dooku. Uh, 
Do you have this one? He's collecting the stain. He's pretty much building a set from all these, all these things here. And 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 shout if you see a short print that I pass by, Curtis. I'll look at the backs of all the cards again, but but if you spot one, let me know. Although you said it was probably something that I normally wouldn't have seen, right? And there's your relic. Oh, what's a short print? C-3PO with Chewie on his back? All right, that's 86 out of 170. C-3PO with Chewie on his back. Got it. Oh. This one? Yeah, it says SP on the back. There you go. Trouble with your droid? Like, okay, come on, dude. There's the SP right there for short print. Right. Yeah, I knew what you meant, Chris. Pretty smarmy if you think about it, Lando. Trouble with your droid? It's like, yeah, no. No crap, really? Yeah, man. What do you think? Look at him. He's a mess. Oh, is that a hard short print to find as well? Nice. Good. See, it makes me happy when I'm helping you complete this collection, man. Obviously, I'm a fan of the Star Wars as well, so I enjoy doing this. And looks like that is it. Aren't there supposed to be more than one purple? Oh, well. Well, there you go, Curtis. Nice box for you. Nice short print, auto, stained glass, relic, purple, etc., etc. And that's it, folks. That was uh, 2016 Topps Evolution Star Wars. Wait until next time to see when Curtis does another box. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.